Hey everyone. So it is a blast from my past. I have my high school friend, Eric Escobar here with me today. I love it. It's so amazing. Keep going. <laughs> I was doing football just cause I was a fat kid. And then whenever you're a fat, it's like when you're a tall kid, they're like, you play basketball. Yep, you're a time. chunky boy. They're always like football, right? And you're like, I guess, but um, I hated it. So I did some improv stuff with y'all. I think I quit football like within a month, started doing drama labs, started doing theater, joined improv. And then from that improv, kind of vibe, I really just started doing more acting, more comedy, and that kind of slowly transitioned more into stand-up. Years and years and years ago, I would have never imagined myself in a position now where I get to tour around, do comedy different places, go international, all that good stuff. Like, did you feel that being football was expected of you? And like, did you ever feel any pressure to continue with sports even when you were in uh, drama? It really takes those kind of eye-opening opportunities and for the individual themselves to have that open heart and that open mind to new experiences. So they can kind of figure out who they are, what they like, what they're into. And um, I was just really lucky to kind of stumble upon that early. But to hear people laugh while I'm doing my thing, it just shows me that I'm doing the right thing when I'm doing well. And it shows me that I'm giving them like a better quality of life for an hour, 20 minutes, whatever it is. And that feeling is, it's, it's unmatched. Comedy is really hard because um, it's an art form where you really have to take risks all the time. But whenever I'm working on stuff, you're constantly feeling invalidated. No one says anything and you're like, oh my Lord, like I completely missed the mark. Now I'm kind of doubting, do I have a good sense of direction? Do I know how to do this? But for every bad moment, I feel like there's a good moment. Or if I'm doubting myself because of a bad set, I shouldn't just be sad about it. I should really look at like, what can I do better next time? You know what I mean? What are the lessons learned? What were you doing right before you decided to do pursue comedy full time? So my life is gonna be in the music industry. This is just what I wanna do. I just wanna be in the music industry. I kind of looked at an option and I was like, well, I really like improv and I, I really wanna get into stand up. But if I'm just doing what is expected right now and I'm just doing what, oh, I should just do, then I guess I just gotta work this nine to five. And it kind of horrified me. It's crazy how a lot of things in our past really do set us up for the future, not even realizing that it's setting us up for the future. Amen. I, I, I like it, but I also feel like with what I know, I could have done this like two years earlier and been a lot better. <laughs> it is really easy. And it and like, it's almost like a lot of society, societal expectations and like the way that the world- Yes. Is, is what sets it up to make it difficult. But really, sometimes things aren't as difficult as they need to be. You know, we're all stressed a lot of the time. We're all, we, ha we have anxieties. I think a lot of that is because we're so closed off and we don't want to interact. And we need that connection. We need to feel people and feel a community. Boy, you are so the truth. <laughs> so a way to break that awkwardness and a way to break that like, oh, is through humor. It makes you feel good because it inspires connection between people and humor is a tool to where you can get that connection with anyone. I don't care if you speak another language. Laughter is one language. That's Eric, everyone. I'm on Instagram. We all are. Let's follow each other. I am at Eric Escobar. That is E-R-I-K-E-S-C-O-B-A-R. See you tomorrow.